take a now let us take another example for prime implicants consider this sum of product uh, expression that is min term 0 1 2 3 4 6 7 11 12 and 15 now we group them according to the number of ones in the binary number equivalent binary number so let us take m0 this is all zeros so this will be the first group then in group 1 number of ones must be 1 okay so here we have m1 will have 1 1 m2 we have 1 0 m4 also we have only 1 1 in it next if we take 3 it has 2 1 so it comes under the second group then m6 it has 2 1 m12 it has 2 1 then in group 3 m7 because it has 7 has it, uh, 3 1 so it comes under the third group they may 11 it has three ones so these two are grouped together and m15 it has four ones okay so like this we form the group then in the next one we try to match we try to match with this okay since there is definitely there will be one change so here all zeros so here there is a change so you put an underscore here and this and this is a matching pair and you put that in a uh, that matched pair here also so and uh, make a check mark there so zero and one is considered so put check mark there then zero and two we are going to consider so zero zero here there is a change so put that as an underscore and other is zero there is no change in the variable and you enter that also and make a check mark here and zero and four can also be considered then in group one we consider the group one group one and group two so when we consider here there is no change here no change here here also there is no change only in the third variable that is why we have a change so that can be considered so one and three can be considered and put that as a underscore so same way one and zero. here there is two change zero and one zero and so that cannot be considered then one and twelve here again there are two chains this one zero zero becomes one one so and it can un here there is another chain so this cannot be con this pair cannot be considered one cannot be considered with three six and twelve so now we take two here zero zero here there is a, only one change uh, yes zero 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 one one last one zero and one it change so that can be taken so two and three can be taken and the change one can be replaced with underscore same way two and six two and six also can be considered because that's the change here the second variable all the others are same so you take it and mark it as underscore and you enter that and those things you have to make a check mark as they are included here then two and twelve it cannot be considered because here there is zero zero here it becomes one one that itself you can see two variables are changing so to, we cannot consider two and twelve Okay, now next M4 and M3. Uh, here, there is no change. Here, that's a change and these two are changing. So three variables are changing. So you cannot consider four and three. Then four and six. Here, zero, one. Here, there is a change. Here, there is a... So only one variable is changing here. That is this Y. So we can consider that. Four and six can be considered and the changing variable can be con uh, marked as with underscore. Then four and 12, here only one change, zero and all the others are same. So this can be considered four and 12 and mark that with the changing variable with underscore, okay? Now this is formed. So this is formed here and with this and this all are checked and we have this group. Then this and this. So likewise you have to check it and then you have, you will be coming across this tablet. Then the next one, you have to, as I already told you, how to check for the underscore position. So here the fourth variable is the underscore. So check for the same thing because there is no need for check the others. When you check with this, you check whether one variable is changing. Yes, here 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is changing to 1. So only here that's the change. Underscore, same position. So we can consider this 0, 1, 2, 3. And that combination you have, you write it here and then 
the changing pushing out right click the underscore and put a check mark okay these two are constant then 0 1 and uh, this underscore is the uh, it can only one this can be matched then you check for this uh, third variable we have the underscore here also we have an underscore but uh, is here this can be considered 0 2 1 2 3 0 2 1 Zero two. This we have done, and when you take this zero two and one three can be considered here. So zero two and one three. This this same here. There is a change, so that can be considered. Okay, so zero two one three. You take it. Then is it matching with here? Uh, here also you can check zero two and four six. We have written that zero to this. Here it is a change. So uh, x is changing, and this uh, right as in the score and zero. So that we have written here. Then so zero one two three is over zero two, and then four six is we put an tick mark here, and then. Zero two and one three is over. Zero four and two six. Yes, this is also having same position. Only one will be. So that also we have written. See here. Then, so all are compact in the group one. Now we have to take this, and this is this cannot be compared with anyone. So leave it as such. Now we have to take this. So when you take consider this one three, uh, you have to check for the same position. So this cannot be taken. Then this here you have the last variable that is good. So we check this. Oh, yes, zero only one variable is changing. So this can be taken. Two three and six seven. So it is one. So two three you can replace it zero. Uh, here uh, in the second position you there is a change. So put there underscore. Write the same thing, the third variable under underscore. So this is what we get. Then, so you put a tick mark there. Zero two, two that is two three and six seven. Then, um, here second variable we have this two six and uh, I think we can compare two six. This is same. We have underscore one is there. So this and this two six and three seven. That's what. So we have taken that, and we have replaced with the underscore, the one which is changing. Replace with the underscore. Okay. Then so this is over this comparison, and then we take this third variable. Uh, third variable, there is no underscore in this, so that cannot be compared with here. And then this minus here, there is no here. We have a minus this is underscore in the first. But when we compare, what happened? Here there is a change. Here there is a change. Here there is a change. Except the underscore, all the other variables are changing. So this cannot be considered. So this is left unchecked in this group. Okay. Now next we check with this group three seven here. When we see this, uh, is this variable? Now this is same. This is same. This is same, and this is so three seven eleven fifty. That can be taken. So this variable may replace with underscore underscore one one. Then and so you mark it. We saw. Then this this and this is same here. That is in all the others are same. So three eleven, three eleven and seven fifty is here. So the first two variables underscore. Then yeah, this is not there. Okay, so you leave it. But already this has been checked with this group. Okay, so now when you see the checking, this in this uh, group uh, that is in the second column, this is unchecked. Whereas in this previous, all are checked. So now you have to check the. You have to go for unchecked. That will be considered as the prime implicant. Okay. Now if you see this here again, uh, these are all redundant. Uh, these two are redundant. That is. Zero, one, two, three. The first one. 
Okay, this same way here is two. So you have to take any one. That's enough. But anyway, next here again, this is a uh, two, three, six, seven. This is a redundant. So you can take one. Okay, same way here. This is a redundant known. See the combinations. So you can take one. So this one you can take from this one you can take one, one, one. So in this we have four plus one, five. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to find these are all the prime implicants. From this we have to check for essential prime implicants. Okay. So now how you can find out? Now as we have seen on the top of the tabular column heading, you enter the min terms. Okay, like this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 11, 12, 15. Then in the left hand side, you enter the combinations which are unchecked. So 4, 12. It's unchecked and its respective uh, combinations. The 4 and 12, you check here. 4 and 12. Okay, then for this, you take any one of this. That is 0, 1, 2, 3. So we take this 0, 1, 2, 3. And we put a cross mark there. One, two, three. Cross mark or tick mark, whatever it is. Same way we have this zero, two, four, six. Zero, two, four, six. Zero, two, four, six. Put the cross mark. Then from this two, three, six, seven. So mark the two, three, six, seven. Then three, seven, eleven, fifty. So three, seven, eleven, fifty. So now what you have to, after entering the cross mark, what you have to do is you have to find a single cross mark or a single check. So this has two and this has one. So take that. Uh, so here itself you can mark, okay? So a single check. So this has three, this has three, this has two, two, two. And you can consider this and this, and this is also single. So now what you have to do is after marking that, you go through the row in which that particular min term is there. So now this min term is there. If you take, take this, this cross mark, this min term you have to take and then here, uh, both are checked. So the same in this row, this is the min term. So these three are considered to be prime implicant and you can remove this. There is no need for including this. That is why we go after this, we write like this and we try to eliminate more, more uh, uh, prime implicants. So these are all considered to be the very, very essential prime implicants. So this can be represented like this. Whereas 412 is nothing but what? What's the combination? Uh, here, uh, this you have to leave because already this variable is eliminated. So 412 can be written as W, sorry, A, B, C, D. Okay, we write A, B, C, D. So here it is B. C bar, D bar, see this term. So B, C bar, D bar. So next is A bar uh, here. What is the next one? 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. Let us consider this. Uh, A bar, B bar. So it is what? Then what is the next one? 3, 7, 11, 50. Here. 3, 7, 11, 50. What is the combination? A, there is no A, B, no, then C and D. So this part. So this is the final expression. Now let us verify it with our Kornhoff map. This we can verify it with a corner of map. So this A B and this is C D. Okay. Zero, 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 
So here, the same combination, zero, 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 one, 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 zero. Now you have to enter one in the places of this uh, mint. So here it is one, so this is zero, one, two, two, three, four, this is five and six. Here it is six. Yes, then seven. And this is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And twelve, thirteen, no, thirteen, zero, um, fourteen, and then fifty. So here we have this one. Now we have to form the Add squats, etc. Now, when you see this, you can form a quad. Okay, here. Yeah. And then here also you can form a quad. Okay, then yes. here also. And form a quad. Okay. Also, when you write equations here, A, B, A bar, B bar, we have A bar, B bar. Because the whole thing is eliminated. Now, when you see this, the whole A, B is eliminated. Here we have C, D. Okay, then when you have this, but um, or we can instead of writing like this, we can form. Uh, yeah, and then come back here. So here we have A, A is gone, here we have B, okay, and C bar D bar. D bar we have, and then this, uh, A is go, A, A bar, and B is gone here, yeah. C, C and D bar. So in this we are having this, but still in prime implicant we are able to eliminate this, even if a uh, corner path can be taken for verification. See, uh, more very more equations are coming here. But still in uh, prime implicant, we are able to eliminate that also. We are able to get uh, lesser term than the corner path. 